I have lived with my brother for 17 years. He's my older brother. I have known nothing different than to have someone like him in my life. And I know him. And I know what he's capable of. And I know who he is. And I know his heart. And I know what makes him happy. And I know what makes him sad. And I don't expect every stranger on the street to know that. But I expect every person to give every other person an opportunity to show who they are. He's just like any other teenager. He likes girls. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll wow, uh, you know, when he sees a pretty girl on TV. Um, he likes to listen to his rock and roll in his room. He likes to sleep. He's, he's like, likes to eat. He likes to be by himself. He likes to socialize. I mean, he's, he's like any other teenager. He just has a hard time uh, reading and learning. And then we'll have a big graduation party. Yeah. And we'll share a cake. Or make all the songbirds ready too. And what flavor will your side of the cake be? Chocolate. And mine will be white. Yeah. We've decided this. I just appreciate every little teeny tiny triumph because I know how hard it is for Dane and for others with disabilities. I've learned to be a support system for somebody and I've learned to let someone be a support system for me because I think when people look at our family and they look at Dane they can say oh he needs them he needs that family he needs those people in his life but in some of that may be true, but what I've learned the most from him is that I need him, I think, more than he needs me. Because whenever I'm down about something, I can go into his room, and he is very wise, and he will tell me everything that I need to know. There's so many things in the world that tell you that something with disabilities is you know, stupid or, you know, incapable of doing things, but they, Dane and his friends have more life in them and more passion in them than a lot of other people that I know. There are so many people in this world that just don't get it and don't understand, and they turn their heads and they close their eyes and pretend it doesn't exist. I was one of those people before Dane was born. Um, I wasn't... I didn't go out of my way. I didn't see the whole picture. I, uh, I didn't understand the whole disability picture. A big uh, my mom was is my great mother. A great mother? My great mother was. Oh, that's nice. It's not as frightful as you might think, and certainly not as bad as you might think. You know, life is going to be okay, because it is. Because they say God doesn't give you any more than you can handle. Don't be scared. Don't be frightened. Lots of people will say a lot of derogative things, I think, just to prepare you for the worst, um, but it's not the worst. It could be so much worse. He doesn't look at people as being right or wrong or different or the same or normal or with disabilities. He sees everybody as just a regular person. When he laughs, it's so sincere and real. It's not forced. It's not. It's just real hearty belly laugh. Two tails. I like that more than anything. There was one night where we were brushing our teeth, getting ready for bed, and I don't remember what happened. If I, I might have like tried to put soap on my toothbrush instead of toothpaste. I don't remember what it was, but Dane just looked at me and he said, "Poor Anna, she's dumb," and I started laughing so hard because I was like six, so he was like eight, and. It was, I don't know, that was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Do you love Anna? Yeah. A lot. A lot. A year. 
a year. His sense of humor cracks me up all the time. He comes up with things out of the blue. He remembers things from way, way back. He's very animated. Uh, he's, he's like a live cartoon. There are a lot of things that I would say to ignorant people. People who are ignorant toward mental disabilities. I don't think there's enough that I could say to them. Don't stare. Christ, that annoys me. Don't stare, you know? I, when he was little, people would stare and, and our daughters would get annoyed and my wife would get annoyed and I would get annoyed too, but I'd, I'd think, well, they're probably staring at him because they're trying to figure out, is he just this little cute lollipop of a kid or, or does he have a disability? It was, it was kind of hard to tell at times. Now he's gotten older and, and you can tell something's different, but it really annoys me when people stare. The thing that gets me the most mad when it comes to that ignorance is people who throw the word retarded around as if it's a synonym for the word stupid. That really makes me mad because Dane is the smartest person I know. And when people say things like that, it makes my brother and all of his friends stupid. I think too that having my friends interact with Dane too, they've grown a deeper appreciation for people with special needs and disabilities of any kind because there's still people just like you and me and they don't, you know, they're not scary or difficult to get along with. I know, I know things could be a lot harder and I, and I choose that word particularly because rather than saying things could be worse because things aren't bad at all. Things aren't, it's not a worse and better aspect. Um, it's just some things are harder.